All right, I'm answering today a question I was asked, and I have to be honest, on the time the question was asked, I got a bit confused, so I got back into my Latin books and I'm gonna answer the origin of Carpe Diem. Let's go. Welcome back on Laughing Museum, my name is Sadiq, thank you so much for watching, I hope you're having a good day or a good time wherever you are right now, uh, which is, uh, I'm not saying that a lot because I'm not talking about that Carpe Diem uh, a lot. So the idea of talking about Carpe Diem came when I was uh, in the Louvre, as I am making conference in the Louvre, talking um, about uh, humanism. humanism was started by uh, Petrarca, Francisco uh, Petrarca, Canzonieri, and uh, the idea of humanism was to collect all the uh, manuscripts of Greek and Latin, so we sure we don't not forget about it, and we don't lose so much manuscript, and it works because we save a lot of text. Thanks to you, uh, humanist guy, humanism were changed now, they got really corrupted by the political word used, like everybody's a humanist now, they know a humanist is someone go collect old Greek and Roman Hebrew texts um, as well and that's it there's no other definition of humanism at least when it gets to uh, the uh, Renaissance right one of the one other day I was talking about that fantastic painting by Mantegna San Sebastian I talk a lot about that painting because I literally love that painting and I uh, was talking about Carpe Diem, and someone told me, no, that's a... Uh, and say, oh yeah, that's a sentence from uh, Seneca, and it's not, it's not. I'm pretty sure Seneca uh, talked about it as well, I'm not worried about that too much, but uh, it is a sentence by uh, Horace in uh, 23 uh, BC, and if I complete the entire sentence, the whole idea was carpe diem, uh, quam minimum credula postero, seize the present and trust tomorrow as little as you may. That intent by Horace got uh, famous, he got taken over by people like Erasmus, he got taken over from uh, Robin Williams, who's probably the most famous and the dead poet society. I just learned. Uh, on this fantastic website called Wikipedia. Yes, yeah, sometimes I have Wikipedia knowledge. Just don't blame me for that. You know, that would be weird, like, because you're an art historian or whatever, you're supposed to, like, make sure, like, you find everything in books and stuff like that. I was honest, on the Dead <laughs> Club Society, I find out that it was awarded to, what is it? I'm even going to check the page right now as we speak, so there's no doubt about that. The 95th greatest movie quote by the American Film Institute. Uh, I'm very happy about that. You're like, there's something, you know, uh, not working with the chronology, but I'm still very happy about that. I'm sure Horace will be pretty proud that 2,000 years later is a uh, quarter still working. They actually write that stuff on shirts. And I'm pretty sure we'll be very proud with uh, this one. Seize the day, uh, put too much effort into the future, and you'll probably never leave. That is something I do believe in, as I am living uh, plenty. And like everybody, sometimes I make the mistake to forbid to live, and then uh, thank God I'm surrounded with wonderful people remind me not to forgive to live. So just one more thing about um, that quote, Carpe Diem. Uh, some people find an occurrence of that idea of Carpe Diem in the uh, Epic of uh, Gilgamesh, which is around 3000 BC. And that's fascinating how uh, we're pretty sure that knowledge can get to um, um, to Horace and 23 BC. That's absolutely impossible. So it's funny how I really love nothing makes me more happy than when civilization get the same idea at the same moment. I find that literally mind-blowing and I'm so happy when that kind of thing is uh, happening, right? Nowadays they say YOLO, you only live once, so don't forget you only live once. And no matter what you do, if you're not doing it with a smile, well, you might be doing it wrong. You guys take care.